I want to get into the fact that not all unbiased advice is good advice. So I had a client in, I think she retired in 2010 from Central Florida. And when she retired, her children's gift to her was a $2,000 comprehensive financial recommendation from a financial planner out of Tampa. And that's, by the way, a great gift. I think it's fantastic. And they sent in all the information and they sent back charts and graphs and recommendations. And, but they don't put it together. So they completely unbiased. They, they, have, they have no, doesn't matter what they recommend, but based on their software, that's what they did. So the client comes to me and says, here, can you implement this? And I said, sure, I can implement that, but let's talk first. Let me make sure that, that they know. And they go, okay, well, our big thing is we want the money to be safe and we need income. And the way that they had the investments recommended was not conducive to that at all. There was, in a 2008 scenario, that portfolio would have went down by about 42%. Uh, and did, did not provide any kind of guaranteed income. And I said, well, did they, you know, did they talk to you? And they go, no, they just asked for all of our financials and they put together this plan. Never even had a conversation. So was that advice unbiased? Sure. Were they giving recommendations that they thought were best? Absolutely. There's no doubt in my mind, but make sure that the recommendations are tailored to you and make sure it's actually good advice.